be put together. We're going to go to the graphics panel. And then we're going to go over here to the edit tab. And then we're going to zoom in towards the end of our um, episode. Where we have our blurred intro. Which is blurred at 155. And we're going to make sure that we click off of that so it doesn't insert a text layer into our video. And we're going to go to the top right and click new layer and then text. And then in this text box, we're going to put all of the jobs that we have for Blue Eye News. So we have our producer, or producers in this case. And this time we had Weston. Waters and Patrick Polalio for our script writer. We had Morgan Clark, and for our technical director. I'm not going to do all of them for time's sake, but we're going to center this and then center it according to frame. And then we're going to click off of that and zoom in a little bit, and we're going to put this at the beginning of our intro and then extend it to the length of our intro. And if you're in this text box, if you're selected in it, then you get this panel to the right. So you have to click off of it in the timeline and then click back on it in order to get this panel. And then you're going to check the roll box. And it presets to start off screen and end off screen, which is exactly what we want. And um, then you'll have something kind of like this. Curator. And, um... It, the speed is based on how much text you have, based on how much time you have. So we have a little amount of text and a lot of time. So if we were to shorten this, it would go by a lot faster. So it's measuring that out for you. And all of our text isn't in here. We only have the producers, script writer, and technical director. We still, we're missing the teleprompter operator, camera operator, boom mic operator, lighting possibly, because Rogers did that, I'm not sure if we want to put that in the credits, editors, anchors, and our advisor. Our advisor is going to be Mr. Rogers, and we put that in there um, because that's like our boss, supervisor, our advisor, um, and that goes at the end. And so you can mess with the font and the color and the border and the size and make it look nice and make it to where it doesn't blend. You can see here, whenever this is shorter and our text goes up, our white text, our white credits mix with the white text in the background and we don't want that so if we put a stroke on it which is a border then it makes it easier to read we have to select it when we do that or else it won't work I forgot um, and then it kind of outlines it and makes it defined and easier to read and now it stands out a little bit more so you can mess with that you can change the colors make it our school colors whatever and um, if you run out of time, if it goes super fast through all of our credits right here, then you would duplicate our intro and put the same blurriness on it and have it loop. And then, um, yeah, that way we have enough time. And that's something that you're going to kind of have to mess with. So that's how you do the credits. And then when you're done, click off of it, file save as, and then
then you're going to put it in desktop in the folder that I have set up, which is Blue Eye News, December 17th, and you're going to go to Project File, Save, Replace. After you save it, you definitely want to save it even though you're done and you're about to export it, because if you have to change something, you're going to have to go back. And if you have to go back and you didn't save it, you're going to have to redo all the work that you just did. In this case, you would have to redo the credits if you have to go back and change something because you didn't save it. So then you go to export, you double click here, and we're going to name it the same thing as our product file. So, blue I news December 17th version 1. We put the version 1 on there so that if we need to export another one, it's not final and then final final and then final and then final hopefully final. Because that gets annoying and it can be hard to keep track. So we do version 1, v1, v2, v3, v4, simple, easy. Desktop, back to our folder, and then rendered is where we're going to want to save this one. And then save, and then you hit export, and then you're done. Hopefully. Don't forget to check your audio levels. And your lower thirds. And then hopefully you're done.